You're watching Actual Cost, the show where I break my knees. Before we get started, this video is gonna be a little bit more rapid fire, a little bit faster than usual because the B camera footage got corrupted. We lost the footage and so the show is a bit incomplete since we don't have as many angles as usual. We did catch it towards the end so we will have some differentiation later on but still, I'm disappointed that it turned out this way but this, this is what happens. Sometimes you have technical difficulties, what can you do? You're watching, <laughs> you're watching Actual Cost. The show where I almost break my knees and I also take ultra cheap recipes on YouTube and find out just how much it actually costs, both in terms of money and time, effort, all of that. Today we're making Joshua Wiseman's $1.59 per serving butter chicken. Now is it actually $1.59 per serving? Come on, like have you even seen the other episodes? Like is it ever actually what it says it is? That's why we do this. I'm the recipe buster. This is my thing. So without further ado, all we have to do is slice up some vegetables. He does recommend you marinate the chicken overnight or at least 30 minutes prior. I chose to do it overnight so I already have it in the fridge. But that was pretty simple. It was just like a cup of yogurt, 15 grams of garam masala and 15 grams of salt. So nothing crazy. You didn't really miss out on much but just so you know, it is in the fridge chilling right now. So as you can see, I have one full onion, six cloves of garlic, and two inches of ginger, which is may not seem like a lot, but it'll be enough. Trust me, it gets the job done. And all we have to do is slice it up, get a nice dice going, a brunoise on the ginger, and then we're gonna have that ready for the sauce that we're gonna make later. And then we just gotta put the chicken in the pan to get some fond going. So without further ado, let's slice into this onion. So I have since chopped everything up, got it into this bowl right here. One whole onion, that two inch knob of ginger, and six garlics have been pressed into this bowl. So I'm just gonna grab the chicken out of the fridge, get it started on the pan so we can develop a fond to get those deeper flavors in the sauce. So as you can see, chicken has been marinated in yogurt and it, it's looking like marinated meat. So we did get some browning, some fawn developed in the pan after having the chicken sear for a little bit. Now all that's left to do is to toss in our vegetable mix, get the tomatoes in there, and hopefully we'll have a butter chicken fully assembled. So I have since added the vegetables to the pan. I gave it the allocated amount of time, the three minutes that he recommended on medium heat, and it wasn't enough. My vegetables were not nearly as wilted as his were, and they were still far too firm. They had not released their moisture, so by the time that I added the spices, the entire mix was too dry. I don't know if he was using higher heat than I was. I don't know if he maybe cut the video a little bit so that it wasn't actually three minutes, but he claims it was three minutes. I don't know what was going on there, but basically it wasn't enough. So I'm giving it more time to cook in the background. We're gonna add the tomato sauce now and add a little bit of water. So we're just adding the tomato sauce right now. Here it's sizzling. Then we're gonna add some water to the can of tomatoes just to get that residual tomato off the can because that's free flavor, all right? And if that ain't but cheaper, <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> and we're gonna get the chicken in here, just drop it, not gently at all. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that's a... Uh... That's what I was going for, uh, that raw chicken juice. Can you see the look of defeat on my face? Can you see it? Is it visible? Because it's at this point that we just learned about the technical difficulties that I mentioned at the start of the video. I'm pretty upset, but at, at least, like if nothing else, I'm hoping that this recipe is gonna be delicious. We left it simmering for like 10 minutes too long because I've been trying to figure out all this camera stuff, but uh, I'm gonna add the butter and the heavy cream and then it should be just about done. This is like a good third of it. This is like a third of it on the floor. Oh no, I just hit the gimbal. Wow, it just like resets like nothing. Yeah, man, things are not going well right now. It's uh, pretty chaotic to say the least. My buttered chicken's on the floor. My pride is on the floor. My wife is at the neighbor's house. So at long last, we have it in front of us. We got the basmati rice, which he doesn't factor into the price, which I thought was weird. We got the sauce, we got the chicken, we got the cilantro garnish. And so proportionately, everything was about $17.95 for all the ingredients we used. And he doesn't mention how many servings this makes. He doesn't do that. Despite people asking for it, he never really brings it up. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it makes about four servings. And at four servings, it comes out to about $4.49 per serving, which is about three times as much as his predicted serving price. Unsurprisingly, this was more expensive than he advertised it to be, but the silver lining would be that you still get a very delicious meal for $17, enough to feed three people. Minimum, at most four. And at this point, the only thing left is to try it, so let's get into it. Get a little chicken on there. 
I actually think this is pretty comparable to restaurant quality. Do I think you could get better curries at a restaurant? For sure. But for $17.95, enough to serve four people, that honestly you would get charged that for one plate at a restaurant. So with this comparable dish, I think it's worthwhile. I think it's worth making. You got some heat from the pepper, the ginger. You got a lot of spice in there despite having pre-ground spices being used. Some smokiness from getting the fond going. You have a touch of sweetness, a bit of richness, a savory quality that comes from the butter and the heavy cream used. And of course, the basmati rice is nice, fluffy, good vessel for the chicken. So while it may be the trend that Josh perpetually underprices his recipes, they are pretty good if nothing else. And I do recommend you make this for yourself. But with all that said, I gotta thank you for watching because that's pretty much the end of the video. I apologize for the technical difficulties, but what I don't apologize apologize for is thanking my patrons because they give me money and I really appreciate that. Thank you to Egox, our original patron. I appreciate you always supporting the show. And as well as Max Jin, I appreciate you for being our newest patron. And of course, everyone on the fridge. If you too would like to get on the fridge or just support the show in general, link to the Patreon is in the pinned comment below. 